Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Wanda Home at Nottingley and they've kindly allowed me to come and film a review of two two birth Bailey caravans. So these two birth caravans, they don't have fixed beds. We're going to have a look at them and see how small and compact they are and also at the price point they are because these are two of the most competitively priced caravans on the market at the moment. So what do we need to know? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first of all with the Bailey Discovery D42. Now, many of you will remember a couple of years ago, I reviewed the full Bailey Discovery range. So in this vlog, we're going to start with this one. It's the new 2024 model. We'll see what's changed, if anything, and just get some facts and figures. So if you're looking for a small and compact two birth caravan, uh, well priced at £20,000, the Discovery could be for you. So as I say, this is the smallest model. In terms of size, it is five metres and 60 centimetres long or 18 feet and 5 inches and width wise it's 7 feet and 4 inches in width. As we can see it is on the Alco chassis with the big white front and the dove grey sides. On this one on the A-frame you can actually get a bike rack to fit here but you would have to be mindful of your nose weight. Now I'll make a start on the near side. So on this model, this is probably one of the lightest caravans you're going to get from one of the main manufacturers. It's around 998 kilos. So it's under a thousand kilos. Great if you've got a small tow car or an electric vehicle and payload 111 kilos. So a fairly low payload, but there's always a compromise. So coming down the near side, we've got the gray sides. We've got the habitation door at the back. We've got a locker box here, and we've got our electric hookup point as well. We've got the Discovery decals and a side window. So as we come down, we have got a 14 inch alloy wheel on this model. And just behind the door, the habitation door, we can see the Dometic vents. That's for the under counter fridge freezer. And we'll see that when we go in. We have got a two piece stable door. We've got a little hook there, as you can see for coats when you go in. And then we've got the awning light as well. The model does have the awning channel as well. So if you're wanting to add an awning or a canopy to um, the Discovery. As I come round, now the Discovery shape, it's quite nice. It's got this sort of rounded side as well on these sides. We do have our grab handles. And then we've got this like retro light cluster as well, as you can see here on this model. Coming round, the back carries on. Now, as you can see, there are these joins. These, the model is actually made of four different pieces that are all bonded together. So this is one of those joins there. We've then got Discovery on the back, and then we come down the off side. So as we come down the off side of the Discovery, we've got here our flush filler, our toilet cassette point, so we know we're going to find a rear washroom. We've got a gas locker box here, I'll come down, we've got a vent for the Truma. It does have Truma air-blown heating and hot water. We've then got our whale water point here. So when you're on site and you want water, this is where you're going to connect up. And then come down and we've just got a couple more windows there on that off side. So that's the exterior of the D42. I do quite like this front, although it's fairly plain and simple with this one window. I quite like the shape of these sort of white uh, wraparounds that go up onto the roof. So in terms of does it look modern and funky? Yes, it does. So let's venture in and take a look. So we've seen the exterior. Let's go see the interior of this D42. So as I step in through the door, first of all, what we've got is we've got some storage here at the back of the caravan. This is actually going to be the wardrobe space. So in here, we've got a rail, we've got some shelving, and that's a good sized little wardrobe, to be honest. So we have got storage for the two people that may be using the caravan. And then we do have a little drop down locker. Now this is perfect for shoes or anything like that when you come in. So a nice little locker there as well. And then what I'll do is I'll just move back here and I will now make a start at the front of the Discovery. So this caravan, as I say, is seven feet, four inches wide. It does feel really wide and spacious and there's plenty of headroom as well. So it does feel very open plan. We can see we've got two um, lounge seats here. Because this hasn't got a fixed bed, most of the living space is taken up here at the front. So we're getting loads of room on here. These are really nicely bolstered. We've got this blue finish. 
and as well as your lounge area this is going to be the bedroom space as well so let's just cover that before we move on so bed space which is important these are going to convert either into two singles which are approximately six foot two length and otherwise you can convert this into one large double so if you want it as a double bed you can do that or you can use it as singles and I think these are approximately two feet wide again check the website uh, that I'll put a link to for full sizes and measurements so a good amount of lounge space now let's start in the front window because this is literally an entry level model we just have the one window here you can see there is a pleated blind as well concertina we do have fly screens as well the fly screens are on all the windows apart from the door if you want the door blind that is an extra option but you can always add that we've got some little lights underneath and those have got usbs a couple of lights above me and then we've got some storage cupboards so let's just have a look in these so we can see here the aerial the aerial does come as standard on the discovery so we've got a good amount of locker space there. You must be careful though, with only 111 kilos of payload, don't go mad because you'll soon take that up. We've got more space here, so that's good. And then what we'll do is we'll just do a turnaround and I'll swap over with you. So let's just turn around and we'll go this way. So once you're sat there in that lounge area, which is a really good size, television, we've got our television point here, we've got two sockets, we've got a nice bit of worktop space, we've got our control panel here for our water, lighting and power, so that's all there. And then we've got this locker here above there, so more space. And obviously if you wanted, you can either have your television freestanding here, or if it was not too big, you could put it in that little alcove area there. Above me, in the centre of the discovery, we've got a sunroof here, so that's letting light in and obviously can open it for ventilation. And then we'll move on to the off side of the discovery. So here we find our rather compact but usable kitchen. It's worth noting you can as an extra buy a little flap as well to go here. So as an added option, you can get extra worktop space. Now under here we've got the Thetford oven and grill, we've got three gas burners, there's no electric on this model but it is entry level so let's not get too excited. And under here we've got the combination gas oven and grill, then there's a little bit of storage just under there which is a good size as you can see there. And we do have our sink, tap, we've got two plug sockets, the control for the Truma which is here. So control for our gas, uh, our heating and water. And then we've got more storage cupboards up here. We've got a nice little kitchen window as well. So a little window there with the Remis blinds. And then under here, we've got a pull out drawer. It doesn't open a great deal. So just be careful of that one. And then under here, I think that is just fixed. So that's what we're getting in the kitchen area. As you can see behind me, we've got a door and this is going to go into the bathroom. So I'll just open this. Now this space, there's always a compromise and here it probably is. We've got a combined washroom and shower room. So we've got our Thetford swivel toilet, the shower curtain that will pull round. The floor, as you can see, is the white plastic. That's where you will shower and there's a plug there as well to let water drain out. And then we do have, just move in here. We've got a shower head here and you can see it turns on and off. You can then attach it there so it is, there is somewhere to hold the shower head. And then we've got our sink with a little swivel tap as well. I'll just step in here for one second because it is quite good to know that because literally you've just got a mirror here and there's no storage cupboards, you can get your head over the bowl, which is quite important because sometimes mirrors protrude out and you don't get that sort of um, flexibility to get into the sink. So that's really good. And there is a little storage cupboard just here as well for your toiletries. And there's, there's also hooks in here for hanging towels. So there we go. Right, that is the Two Birth Bailey Discovery D42 priced at around £20,000. As I say, there's a couple of options you can add, one of which is that flap. So this is um, a quite a nice little two berth model with a really good size lounge. Let's just venture out. 
So if you're wanting a small and compact caravan that's going to be towable with just about any tow car and electric vehicles, then this one could be for you. We'll then move on now to our second model. Now, this is again a new 2024 model. This is the Bailey Phoenix GT75 420. GT75 is part of uh, Bailey's celebration of 75 years uh, of producing caravans. So again, two berth, single axle. Let's go through some facts and figures. So this is basically the smallest model in the Phoenix range. I'm going to put links in the description so you can check out both of these caravans and the full Bailey range. Size-wise, this one is 5.6 metres long, so only a fraction smaller than the Discovery. Width, in terms of width, it's 7 metres and 3 inches, so it's an inch narrower than the Discovery as well. Weight-wise, this is a little bit heavier. It's 1,142 kilos in total weight, and it's going to be upplated if you want, to 1,300 kilos. And if you upplate it to 1,300, you can have a huge payload of 275 kilos. So that's something to consider. Right, let's take a closer look. So we can see on this one, again, we're on the Alco chassis. The A-frame's not quite as long as we saw on the Discovery. It's just more of a normal standard A-frame on there with our hitch. The front, we've got this solid white piece, no front locker, which is standard across the Bailey range. On the Phoenix, we've got the three windows, as we can see here, and this one does have an aerial on the roof as well. Price-wise, we are going up a little bit. We're going up to somewhere around £23,000 for the 420. We have got the dove grey sides, as you can see. We've got uh, the window into the lounge. We've got a locker box. As we come down the near side, we can see our Dometic vents. We've got the 14-inch alloy wheel got the awning light and awning channel. We do also have a stable door and that's a two piece. And new for 2024, we've got this change in the color scheme with the gray against the contrasting white, which is nice. And we do also get a bin as well on this model as well. Let's go around and have a look at the rear of the 420. So the Phoenix 420, we've got the um, new decal with the GT75. We've still got the retro light clusters and the one piece back. Um, it, is, it is simple, but it is quite effective. I'll head off down the offside now. So coming down the offside, we've got our flush point here. We've got a cassette here. We've got our gas. And then coming down, we've got the vent because this does have the Truma airblown heating and hot water as well. That works on gas and electric. We've got our water point here. So you'll put your water pump here. And on the offside, we've got our electric hookup. So it is on this side as opposed to on the other side on the um, Discovery. So that's the exterior of the Phoenix 420. And for an entry level model, as I say, 23,000, it does look quite nice. I think these decals, the silver sides or dove gray as Bailey call it, it does make it ping. Right, let's go inside and have a look. So what are we getting? Let's go find out. Again, two berth, no fixed bed. So on this one, we've got much more of the home comforts than we had on the Discovery. We've got our two sofa beds. Now, again, you can use these as singles or you can use it as a double. As a double, again, it's around about six foot two. Uh, singles, I believe, is around six foot two, six foot three, but all the measurements will be below. And again, approximately two feet in width. These are nicely bolstered. These are a nice gray color. I quite like the fabric on the new 2024. So yeah, not bad. On this, you can see we do get the curtains and these are a blue and gray color. So quite a nice color scheme for 2024. And we are getting the fly screen and the blind as well. Entry level caravan, we are getting plastic blinds as opposed to the concertina. Now, different to the Discovery, we've got the one window, the same, but then we've got our little side window. So we're letting in a little bit more light. We've just got a little bit more of that sort of luxury feel compared to the basic um, feel of the Discovery. We have got a front locker and within that you're going to get your little pull out here so you can eat on that if you want. You've got various other little drawers as well. So you do have that nice sort of storage part and we are getting all the blinds as well on this model. This, it, it is concertina on this pull down front one. We've got lights up above us. We've got lights and USBs here. 
and then we move down and we have got some storage got a nice wood effect here we've got our aerial coming in on the off side in this locker and we've got another locker here as well these are good sizes as well to be fair and these are pretty strong and sturdy hinges which is good to see right let's swing around and uh, have a look back here now interesting this caravan it is only seven feet and three inches wide so it is very narrow but again it doesn't feel overly small in here because we haven't got a fixed bed and everything's spaced out we have got quite a nice feeling of space now over on the near side we've got um, a charger here we've got our point for our television a plug socket there is actually a sonos speaker that goes here it's not fitted on the demo model but you do get a sonos speaker normally there we've got some light switches so your television again same as discovery you can either put it there or you can put it on here if you wanted to do that and we've got some cupboards up here let's just open those so more cupboard space and then underneath we've got a 115 litre uh, fridge freezer uh, stand light. there we go so a total of 115 litres I did actually forget to show you the one on the discovery that's 113 litres but it's in the same place and it's almost the same size so sorry I forgot to show you that one and I'm normally so obsessed with my fridge and freezers but that's where that is on this and then there are just a couple of little sort of open shelves there as well where you can put bits and pieces if you want now onto the off side we've got a russell hobbs microwave here this is 700 watt uh well it says 650 on there it was meant to be 700 so this one says 650 and it is the one without you don't need a plate on this one so we've got the microwave and then we'll come across let's have a look in here some more good cupboard space as well the plug up there for your microwave and then coming down into the kitchen area again on this one you can get the flap if you want as an additional extra but we do have this is obviously a little bit of a step up to the discovery because it's a slightly higher price point at 23,000. but we've got a worktop surface on the um, thetford appliance we've got four gas burners on this one so as you can see there just lift that up so you've got four gas burners and on this one we are getting a separate grill and a separate oven so a little bit different to the discovery and there's some um, storage underneath there a lot more worktop space here i can definitely see this is a much more usable space a large sink there we've then got plug sockets we've got our truma control panel for the um, air blown heating and the hot water there and then under here we've got a pull out drawer with cutlery tray which i quite like that is that soft close yeah and that's soft close just close it up properly got some cupboard space more cupboard space so there's, there's plenty of cupboard space and if just if you're wondering about the floor um at the moment this does have a protective cover on so this isn't this here is actually plastic you can see there the proper color um, of the floor in case you were wondering this is just a protective cover so it, it wouldn't it wouldn't come like that um, we've got a big sunroof up above us here and then we move back and we've got our washroom let's do this first of all so if i open the door first of all we've got two hooks four towels and then coming in we've got some nice shelving here this is good so we've got shelving space for bits and pieces you could put roll towels up or something and put them in there and then we've got a wardrobe space so this is where you're going to put your clothes you can see there's a rail uh, a nice bit on the top as well so that is a really good size um definitely just be careful if you are loading this back here be careful not to overload the back of the caravan if you haven't got much weight at the front because you'll make it really rear heavy so just be careful with that we've got the thetford swivel toilet here as we can see and then if i move around we've got sink got a little cupboard under there in the 420 and well, that's nice little shelving units close that up We've then got a good size sink again, like we had in the Discovery with the tap. We have got a little bit of intrusion just here with this shelf, but nothing too much. A mirror, we've got hooks, and then we've got this shower cubicle. I'll step in here. Shower cubicle, it's all sealed, it's white. We've got the shower head here. The uh, operating um, tap is here. 
good amount of space. There's no intrusion in here because we're at the back of the caravan. We've got this sort of frosted um, screen. There's a little sunroof. There is a light, good lighting in here as well. So this is a good little space. I'll just step out. So that's the rear washroom in the 420. And as I say, I'll just pull this. This has a really nice open plan feel. Although I, I like the Discovery, don't get me wrong, the D42 Discovery is a nice little thing. However, I'd say if you're interested in that, do come and look at both of these. This one is certainly more homely. Uh, and you can definitely feel it is a step up. It's not as basic. You've got more space in here and a few more creature comforts. So it's interesting just to be able to compare the two models. Right, let's just disappear back out and have a look externally at them as we go. So there we go. So that is the Phoenix 420. Um, this is their two berth with no fixed bed, 23,000. And then we've got the Discovery D42, 20,000. So the choice is yours. Both got the dove grey sides, both very light, uh, easy to tow. They'll suit a lot of people who don't want anything too big. Um, and hopefully that's just given you a bit of two birth inspiration, maybe. Um, I'd just like to say thank you to Wonder Home at Nottingley who have come and let me film here today. It's really appreciated. I'll put links and everything in the description below. If you're interested in insurance quotes as well to find out how much these may cost to insure, again, I'll put a link below so you can do a little bit of research so you know a little bit more before you go forward. But yeah, there we go. Right. So as always, thanks for watching and... I'll see you in the next one.